Charlie and I have been reasonably good at identifying what I would call the perimeter of that circle of competence, but obviously we've gone out of it. I would say that in my own case, I've gone out of it more often in retail than in any other arena. Uh, I think it's easy to sort of think you understand retail and then uh, subsequently find out you don't as we did with the department store in Baltimore. You can say I was outside of my circle of competence when I bought Berkshire Hathaway, I, I, although I bought it really to resell as a stock originally. I probably was out of my circle of competence when I decided that I should go in and buy control of the company. That was, that was a dumb decision, um, which worked out. Uh, the, being appraising your own talents and shortcomings, I think. I don't know whether that's innate, but some people seem a whole lot better than it, the others. And I, I certainly know of a number of CEOs that I feel have no idea of where their circle of competence uh, begins and ends. But uh, uh, we've got a number of managers who I think are just terrific at it. I mean, they really, they really know when they're playing in the game they're going to win in, and they don't, they don't go outside of that game. The ultimate was Mrs. B at the Furniture Mart. She told me that she did not want stock in terms of the Berkshire Hathaway deal. Now, that may sound like it was a bad decision. It was a splendid decision. She did not know anything about stock, but she knew a lot about what to do with cash. She knew real estate. She knew retailing. And she knew exactly what she knew and what she didn't know. And that took her a long, 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 long way in business life. Uh, and that, that ability to know when you're playing the game in which you're going to win and playing outside of the outside of that game is a huge asset. I can't I can't tell you the best way to uh, develop a great sense of that about yourself. You might get some of your friends that know you well to offer contributions. Charlie's given me a few contributions occasionally, saying, "What the hell do you know about that?" Uh, that it's one way of putting it, of course. Uh, but Charlie, do you, can you help him out? Well, I don't think it's as difficult to figure out competence as it uh, may appear to you. If you're five foot two, you don't have much of a future in the National Basketball League. And if you're 95 years of age, you probably shouldn't try and act the romantic lead part in Hollywood. And, and if you weigh 350 pounds, you probably shouldn't try and dance the lead part in the Bolshoi Ballet. And if you can hardly count cards at all, you probably shouldn't try and win chess tournaments playing blindfolded and so on and so on. You're ruling out everything I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> but competency is a, relative, is a relative concept. And what a lot of us need, including the one speaking, is what, what I needed to get ahead was to compete, compete against idiots. And luckily, there's a large supply. And, 